jury to run with wrong people, the jury to end up in jail. Wherever you are, go because the choices you make. They say, yeah, but you didn't have drugs when you were growing up. I had a drug problem. I drugged the church every Sunday, every Wednesday, every Tuesday. I drugged out behind the woodshed and they had every time I did it. I drugged to the sick man, but lost my son with coke every time I spoke to you over the teacher. Coke, you're used for bandy, no drugs, you're still my sister. And thank God for my parents and drugs. But it's about making choices. Whatever happens, can't blame it on somebody else. Somebody's going to have a more difficult time succeeding than us. Make no mistake about it. I had a more difficult time than perhaps a great athlete. A guy who's six feet four and good looking. I'm five foot ten hundred and fifty two pounds, wear glasses, speak with a lid, have a physique, and appears like I've been inflicted with very, very scurvy most of the life. <laughs> I had nobody open the door for me. I did not the thing down yourself. Boy, that made sense. Nobody can hold you back for yourself. You can succeed when nobody, nobody believes you. You have no chance to succeed if you do not believe in yourself. The things you're capable of doing. You're going to need four things in your life. One, you need something to do. Number two, you need someone to love. Number three, you need something to hope for. Four, you need someone to believe in. But if you don't have something to hope for, you're not going to have any good yet, you're not going to have any drive. Martin Luther King made one of the ten greatest speeches in the history of mankind. Some of the other ones, Abraham Lincoln, is getting more of your time. John F. Kennedy asked all of this country to do for you, asked what you do for this country. With the church, it was one of ten. Never so many who so much to so few. But Martin Luther King was one of the ten greatest. He stood up in Washington, but hundreds of thousands of people. And he said, I have a dream. One man had a dream. He motivated this country and changed it for the better. One man had a dream. Now let me ask you this with all due respect to Martin Luther King. Do you think that speech would have the same effect? And Martin Luther King stood up and said, I have a strategic plan I want to show you. I'm here to tell you, strategic plan don't fail. He had a dream. Have a dream. Follow a dream. That's where everything starts. Have a dream of what you want to do. Be proud of what you're doing. Do it the very best you can. I only had three rules. I'm real close with that. You only need three rules for the rest of your life. You don't need five, seven, ten. You only need three rules. They're not complicated. Rule number one, you need to do right. Do what's right, the Lord what's wrong. I think it's wrong to find something that somebody lost before he lost it. It's called stealing. He lied about that, and they had lost it. Yeah, that's stealing. That's not right. Right to be honest. Right to be loyal. Wrong to practice sexism, racism, spousal abuse. Just do the right thing. And if you have any doubt, get out the Bible. Not complicated, just stop saying what the right thing to do. If you do the right thing, you don't have to worry about what you're going to go pray or what somebody's going to find out. Then, how many people, life would be different if they just stopped and done the right thing. Rule number two, do everything to the very best of your ability with the time of life. That's all. Not everybody be all American. Not everybody's going to see Everybody can be the best you're capable of being. Whatever you're doing, do it to the best of your ability. Not because somebody's going to, not because somebody's going to find it. Not because somebody's going to give you the point. And the third rule, and the last rule, always make sure people know you care about them. Just care. So, do the right thing, do the best you can, show people you care. Why are those the only three rules you'll ever need? I promise you. Whether you're married, whether you're working, whether you're raising children. I had three rules for a football team. Only had three rules for the children. Do the right thing, do the best you can, be the care of why. Because everybody you meet the rest of your life here are going to ask three questions about you. First question everybody's going to ask, can I trust you? 
Without trust, you can have no relationship. July 22nd, my wife and I will celebrate our 49th wedding anniversary. I tell her, I love you, and you can't do a doggone thing about it. <laughs> you know what she said to me? I can't please everybody in the world, so I'm going to stop trying. I'm going to focus on this one person today. Today's not your day, and tomorrow doesn't look real promising either. Because I'm not one. So I left her a note before I left. I've been gone five days. They said they did an x ray on me, they found you in my heart. But the doctor said, God going to take you out because he said I could not live without you. But everybody wants to know why are we married? Because I trust her and she trusts me. I will never lose the trust of my wife. Now, what's the only way you can always make sure people are going to trust you? Do the right thing. If you do the right thing, they're always going to trust you. Second question everybody asks. Are you committed to that? Do you want to be good? The only way you can ever ask that question is do everything to the best of your ability. And the last question everybody asks, do you care about me? Do you care about me and the problems I have and the difficulties? I believe you always try to show people you genuinely care. Those three words answer those three questions. And at Notre Dame, I've been blessed. I'm in the Hall of Fame, but Notre Dame, they built a statue to me. You go out there to Dane B, it's called the Little Hall State. There'll be a statue there with me and you play. That's not important. What's important is the bottom of the statue is three words trust, commitment, love. If you have those three things in your life, you follow those three rules, you're going to do great things. Now, it's my pleasure, God has been good to me. It's my pleasure to be able to try to help you. So the credit for whatever you do with your life goes to one person. And don't you ever forget that person. That's you. Not me, that's you. Not your parents. Take charge of your life, be responsible for your life, dream about greatness, dream about going fast, and ask yourself this question. If you didn't show up, who would miss you? If you didn't go home, would your family miss you? And if they did miss you, what would they miss you? If you didn't go to work, would anybody miss you? The point is, try to add value to other people. You walk in a room, graduate, you should be, hey, here I am, look at me, it's all about me. That's who that be. There you are. Okay. Congratulations. I'm proud. I'm really proud of the people who have been before you. You've gone on and done great things. Get a profession, get a fight in it, get yourself back. Any questions I can answer, friends? My name is.